Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So Hadesan from Tolson sent me something to try today. Stay tuned. This episode is sponsored by my friends at Go Sport, the makers of the most premium, durable, and the most organized bags you can get. Introducing their new 2.0 collection. We got the nine pack, my favorite backpack, and introducing a 12 pack. That's gonna be my bag right there. Check it all out and organize your tennis life at gosport.com. All right, coffee sponsor of today is at the tennis fans on Instagram. So it's the tennis, and then instead of F A N, it's P H A N S. So guessing that's your last name. <laughs> fans. I, that's cool. Uh, the tennis fans write Hi, Harry, huge fan of your content for a while. My brother and I were actually the first fans to visit your store all the way from San Diego in your Wilson Chaos Mirage video. Wow, that was a while ago. I vaguely remember you guys, actually. We just started a podcast together about tennis. This has been an incredible, exciting experience for us and can't wait to show more to the tennis community. Oh, that's awesome. So guys, check them out at the Tennis Fans, P-H-A-N-S. Um, I'll check it out too. And good luck to you guys. Uh, when you come up, hey, pay me a visit again. All right, maybe we can podcast together. All right. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash Tennis Spin. If you want to support the channel, Super thanks is the way you can contribute as much as you like. I'm not going to say a little anymore because much is better than little. Link is below. All right. Thank you guys so, so much. I think it's Gaia today. I didn't really bother looking. I just said dark roast. I don't remember seeing Major Dixon. So uh, I thought little words. So it had to be Gaia today. Tastes like Gaia. All right, so my buddy Hadesan from Tolson hooked me up with this um, mock, S mock Pro 97. Show you that racket. And he even gave me some strings. This is some demo string, not for sale. There's actually an overgrip in here, which I'll put on later. It's HD Aster Poly 119. So let's talk about the, well, we'll talk, quickly talk about the string. That's supposedly a durable, playable, soft feeling string. Well, we'll see about that when I play with it. But uh, supposed to be kind of a little softer than my confidential. It actually feels like. Yeah, a little softer than my confidential. Let's take a look at this frame. It's a 97 head. What else is a 97 head? Let's go to the wall. This is a 97 head. A little rounder here from what I can see. This is a squared off beam. This is a rounded off beam. So this one's going to be a little bit more for spin. Look, let's look at the thickness. It looks a, to be about the same thickness. Maybe a hair thicker here. Maybe a millimeter looks like. Obviously, we know that thing weighs a lot because that's the Fed model. Um, 
let's go back to my home here. Um, hmm. It's definitely going to be lighter because in stock form, it's 305. Fuck. Okay. Sorry. In stock form, it's 310 without strings. Hmm. We strung it up at 52 pounds with the Aster Poly. Uh, the thing that's intriguing me right now is this part right here. It feels a lot like my racket, the uh, Blackout Extended. It has kind of a roundish, but there's like squares in here. There's like straight lines in here all the way through. So that's what's intriguing me about this is that when I hold it, it feels like my racket. Um, the beam looks a little thinner though. So my guess is that the smaller head's gonna give me a little more control. Slightly thicker beam is where it's gonna give me more power. I don't have specs on this. There wasn't a whole lot to find out. So we're gonna take it to the Bayardo Tune Pro to see um, if we can get a bunch of numbers. Okay, so let's take it over there. Let's check weight and balance. Oh, 11.5, 12.8 on the balance. Interesting. 326.8, 32.5. Hmm. Kind of looks familiar. Let's check uh, swing weight. Three nineteen. Okay. Since I don't know the stiffness of this, let's check the stiffness. Check the RA. Sixty seven on the horizontal bending. Okay. Check vertical bend. Get it lined up. Okay. Let's take a look. 67 going one way. What's this number? Ooh. 78. Okay, that got me thinking a little bit here. Hmm. Let's talk about this a little bit. All right, guys, so let's look at the numbers as they didn't really provide them. Uh, strong weight, about 11.5 ounces. Balance, 32.5. That's about three points headlight. Swing weight's 319. <laughs> Here's the stiffness, 67, 78. Hmm. From what I remember, those are very kind of Fed-like numbers because Feds goes 80 this way, and I believe right around 67 to 70 this way. Uh, granted, this is a little thicker. I mean, just maybe a millimeter. Um, hmm interesting i wonder how this plays well let's test it on the court see you there All right, guys, so we just got off the court with the s Mach Pro 97. Um, 
my favorite Tolson so far. And I think you guys might agree with me. Um, Coach Chris from MTC, what are your thoughts? So when I was first swinging this racket, I was noticing a big weight transfer as I was swinging through. And it just felt a little bit reminiscent of the old Prokenix rackets that they came out with. Uh, I think it actually had sand in them. Um, but yeah, just the weight transfer through the stroke was actually a really nice feeling. It really felt like it helped you through the stroke, helped you elongate your stroke. Um, it's a really good feeling racket. It's the s -Mach Pro 97. Um, I think it's supposed to be reminiscent of Federer's racket and reminiscent of Ionix, but I really felt uh, Pro Kenix here. Um, nice frame. Solid. Yeah, your backhand seems to work really well with this thing. Yeah. Um, so what Coach Chris was talking about is like a Pro Kenix Kinetic 5G, 10G, uh, 7G. So I kind of felt what you felt, but let's go to Jared first. Yeah, so the first thing that I noticed when Harry gave me this racket was the heft. So I thought it was going to be a very heavy racket and tough to swing um, on the court, but uh, it honestly wasn't. Um, for me, I think what this racket reminded me of was the DR98 Tour. But then Harry also told me this is a 97 square inch head size racket. So it also brought up uh, Stan the Man's V-Core Pro 97 racket, but that's in a DR frame. So this racket is different from Yonix in the sense that it has a slightly thicker beam. So for me, traditionally with the Yonix rackets, I kind of have a hard time finishing the shot on the court. But this one gave me a little bit, little bit more plow through, a little bit more feel, and gave me that finishing power I was looking for. The other thing too is the throat of the racket also reminded me of like the Aero Pro a little bit. So I think that's what it made, um, or that, that throw made it a little bit easier to swing the racket through the court instead of having a bunch of heft and kind of with the lag. Um, so for me, this is probably my favorite Tolson racket out of all the ones that we've tested. And um, yeah, this is a good alternative for anything you're looking out there that's, uh, if you want a hefty racket and something that's different than traditional brands, this is, this is your choice. Okay. All right. So let me start by saying um, it feels like a Kenex racket, just like you said, because... When you come through, the weight starts here. And then as you come through your swing at impact, it starts moving. And then right at impact, it feels like all the weight at the ball and then helps you with all the weight at the ball, sending it back. Not a lot of rackets are like this. The ones that come to mind is the V-Core 95 in the all red series that I love. Uh, it's got kind of a Regna kind of a characteristic too. A bit. Um, it, if my blackout was a 97, this is how I would imagine it would feel. Cause like what you said, this part reminds me of my racket, the way it's like kind of shaped in square blocks. Um, the beam, definitely love it. I love thick beams up top. It firms it up for me. The smaller head gives me the control. So this is definitely the magic racket from Tolson. If you are looking for a Regna-like racket or a red version of that V-Core from back in like four years ago, this will feel that way. Um, we all love the way it felt. We all love the way it played. We all agree this is the best Tolson racket out there. All right. So, guys, you should try this racket if you're into that 95, 96, 97 head size and you want a little bit more power. All right. Guys, thank you for joining me today in uh, testing out this fabulous racket. Coach Jarrett, where can we find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right. Coach Chris, where can they find you? You can find me here at Marin Tennis Club on Instagram and YouTube. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.